Roger Walker, Zimbabwe's banking pioneer and wealth creator. Welcome to Global Black History. Today we're talking about Roger Walker, who was Zimbabwe's visionary and economic freedom fighter. He broke the glass economic glass ceiling when he launched the first black-owned merchant bank in Zimbabwe, called United Merchant Bank. Prior to Walker's launch, Zimbabwe's banking industry was dominated by foreign banks that often had colonial roots and colonial attitudes. Before Walker, many Zimbabweans had not imagined that black Africans could actually own a merchant bank. And once he broke that glass ceiling, many banks emerged after that. By the early 2000s, many black-owned banks were household names, including Trust and Kingdom Bank. Since Borka, there have been many other African-owned banks operating in Zimbabwe, removing the myth that only colonialists could control the money. Walker changed the national conversation from working Zimbabweans aspiring for high-powered jobs to realizing the power of ownership. He had a dream to break the white minority hold on the nation's business and wealth. New capital was needed to fund Zimbabwean-owned companies of value, but oftentimes these Zimbabwean entrepreneurs faced many obstacles because the industry was dominated by white-owned banks. In 1994, Mr. Roger Walker became the first black Zimbabwean to be awarded a tobacco merchant's license. He also persuaded Robert Mugabe to give the government to give financial government guarantees to black traders for all their tobacco purchases. And this is what led to the tobacco to the Walker tobacco auction floors. So Walker started the United Merchant Bank because he wanted to fund the Walker tobacco auction floors, which at the time Zimbabweans were not allowed to be owned by law. So he used the merchant bank to finance other black owned businesses, which European multinational banks refused to fund, including Kubi Chaza Indies, Perline Cosmetics. He also started the merchant bank because it provided more favorable terms to African entrepreneurs and it funded tobacco farmers in an agro based tobacco economy where tobacco was the highest money earner. At the time, Zimbabwe's white-owned banks were financing only white tobacco merchants so they could depress tobacco prices and cheat the country of revenue. However, many years after the bank failed because senior politicians belonging to the ruling ZANU-PF borrowed from the United Merchant Bank and never repaid debts that totaled over $26 million. The government at the time also refused to bail out the bank because they were going through austerity measures that they had been forced to do by the IMF and the World Bank. Roger Basil Nikazino Boka was the third of nine children born to a family in a rural part of eastern Zimbabwe. When he was young, according to his account, his father owned a general store. The father also grew a furniture business that enabled him to buy a truck, which for blacks in then Rhodesia was a considerable accomplishment. His success attracted the ire of many white citizens, and according to Walker himself, on several occasions his father was jailed at the whim of Rhodesian police. And despite of all, all these obstacles, Roger Walker was able to own the first merchant black-owned bank in Zimbabwe. Thank you for watching Global Black History.